When using any sort of Creative Commons licensed material from the internet or from anywhere else, the recommended way of citing them is to use the title, the author, the source, and the license, which can be easily remembered by the acronym TASL. To see this in action, you'll need to find a Creative Commons licensed photo. So I'm going to open a new tab in my web browser, and I'm going to go ahead and search Panda. Once I'm at Panda, I'm going to go to Images. I'm going to do a Creative Commons friendly search by saying Search Tools, Usage Right, Labeled for re Reuse. And I'm going to go ahead and find a picture I want to use. So I'll use this one as an example. And to get there, I have to actually view the page. So to find the title, author, source, and license, I can't just take it from the Google search. I actually have to go to the page and find the image. So I'm going to go and find that picture that I want to use. All right, there it is. And I'm going to click on it. And here's where I'll get everything that I need to properly cite it. So if I want to use this picture of a panda in my report on pandas, I need first the title. So here's the title right here. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight it and copy by hitting Command Copy. And then I'm going to go ahead and cite it here. I'm going to delete this old citation. And if I were doing this in a paper, I would put in the title. I'd say comma. I'm going to find the author. So in this case, it's this Sheila Lau. So I'm going to copy that. Go back to my document. I'm going to paste it in. The next thing that I need, so we have the title, we have the author. I need my source. So my source is actually the URL, so whichever website you get it from, and you want that to be as specific as you can, like you want it to actually go to the photo. So I have my source, and you can either paste it in here, um, but if you want it to look a little prettier, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just hyperlink it in so that you don't have that huge long address. And so now we have our title, we have our author, we have our source, and now we need our license. So the license right here, you'll see this is in the public domain, which actually means we don't have to cite it, but we're going to anyway. Um, a lot of times you'll see something that says something like CC1 or CC2. That's a Creative Commons license. So I'm going to go back here and put my license. And now, of course, I'll probably clean it up a little bit, um, you know, make it all the same size font so that it looks just a little bit nicer. And there you have your cit citation. So again, you just need to include the title of the photo or the song or whatever it is you're using, the author, the source, and the license.